Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? It's your boy Dan got the plan back again with another video. So how y'all doing today? Today we're gonna talk about your boy Jameis Winston. Oh no, no, no. We, we we're gonna talk about three quarterbacks, and I'm a I'm gonna tell you whether I will take them on the team or whether or not. First guy we starting off with Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston? No way. No way. Let me even break down his film. His 30 for 30 he had going on this year. His 30 for 30. He had 30 touchdowns, 30 interceptions. He's the first player in league history to do that. He got a turn down on his turnovers, but I don't see much there for Jameis Winston unless he's a backup quarterback because he throws the ball to the other team too much. Like, it's like if you're throwing 30 of them, bro, with 30 touchdowns, that's, I, I don't know what to say. Like, 30 for 30, I, I, I don't want to sign up for that, bro. I mean, now, James Winston, I do think he could be a good player, but, bro, he's, you got to get, he, he can be an all right player if he cut down on the turnovers, which I don't know. Because he's been throwing turnovers since he's at Florida State. So, I think we might well cancel that out. And he threw 30 this season. I think the only thing he can do is maybe be a backup. Maybe. Maybe he can go play in the XFL or something. Uh, but I don't know. That 30 for 30. Marcus Mariotto. Kind of a little bit better on the scale. It's kind of like an uptick because Marcus Mariotto, he's not... He doesn't throw too many interceptions, but he just can't really. He's not that accurate on the deep balls. But, I mean, if you could put a system around him, I think Marcus Mayo, I think he could be better than Jameis Winston as a prospect to be on our team. Because with Marcus Mayo, you can set him up with a fast-paced offense where he throws it here, throws it there, lets his running back run, and then he should be good. I don't know what happened this season, why he's playing so bad. They had to take back the Derrick Henry, and look at that. They dropped the old boy. They dropped Marcus Mayo, and then bam, they in the AFC Championship game. So, it just goes to show you. We probably shouldn't be looking at Marcus Mario, because, you know. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. You can be one of the best coaches, but some people, they just ain't going to they just ain't gonna be able just to play right. So, if they ain't able to play right, just don't even worry about them. And the third player I was about to say is Phillip Rivers. Man, I, re I really don't like Phillip Rivers. He's kind of like a, I think he's kind of like a, a, a snail. A couple things I don't like about him. He don't really move well in the pocket. He don't care. He just throws the ball up. Wherever it goes, it goes. So, that's the thing about him. He's kind of, the artist in Phillip Rivers is pretty bad this season. So, I don't know. And he even got weapons. Like, he got Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Travis Benjamin, he got he had Melvin Gordon, Austin Eckler, Austin Eckler for most of the season. And Melvin Gordon for half of the season. They got a good defense. They got a uh, Joy. I know they went through injuries or whatnot, but they got Joey Bosa. They got Melvin Ingram. They got Darren James. Darren James. They got uh, is his name Casey Hayward? They got a gang of players on their team right there. I don't know why Phillip Rivers was unsuccessful. I know they went through injuries or whatnot, but still, if your team going through injuries, you're a superstar quarterback. You're supposed to try to at least salvage a season, bro, until every injury, you know, until everything balances out. But Phillip Rivers, he just wasted no time in destroying the season for the Chargers. And he's not going to come over here and destroy the season for the Indianapolis Colts. So, all three players, all in all from me. All right, then, y'all, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'm out.